All right, so what we're going to do is replace the temperature sensor, uh, which is a short wire like this. I'll show you both ends, small plug, and the sensor is right here. Uh, we're going to replace this, and this will increase the accuracy if you're having problems with uh, accuracy of uh, the uh, outdoor rated refrigerator. Now there's three screws up here and the thermostat or the, the uh, temperature sensor is right here behind these three screws. So we're going to take about six turns of this, these three here and actually what happens after that is this just pulls forward and this is really awkward to be able to show you without covering it. You saw I just pulled forward on it and it dropped right out and there's two guides here so you want to be able to rotate that and slip them out of the guides. Then you're going to unplug by pressing in on one edge that has a little key on it that keeps them in place. There and there which is your temperature sensor. Now we've got the sensor out here. This just pops off and it just pulls out. So we're basically just going to pull this through. We're going to take the little sleeve, it has a little plastic sleeve off on it. I'm going to take that sleeve off and then put it on the new one and you should be good to go. So I want to show you this so you don't get frustrated when you take this piece off because it's typically, uh, you can't pull it through, you've got to seesaw it off. So this is a little plastic cover, the rubber tip cover that comes off. We're going to take that off and then you've got two wires. This one is the motor wire. You would just put that off so it's not in the way and then you sort of seesaw the fan motor wire off and then you seesaw by just going back and forth and this one comes off. Then you just in the same fashion slide that one in and then you put the other wire in its place like that and I meant by seesaw and just back and forth until it gets in place. Now you have the two wires. I'm going to lay this down and you're going to take that rubber sleeve and push it onto the end of the, th of the sensor. And basically you're just trying to get it so it's over it so when you fit this over on the little clamp it's got so it fits. You don't have to get it completely over, it's fine if it's 80% of it's over. And that little end, you want to make sure the end is sticking out a little bit. Okay, then you just snap it in place. Your two wires are out. This goes back in there. This goes back in there, you rehang it, and you're done. 